The Tu-144 was a supersonic passenger transport aircraft developed by the Soviet Union's Tupolev Design Bureau, in the 1960s and 1970s. Its development began in response to the need for a supersonic aircraft to compete with Western counterparts and showcase the Soviet Union's technological capabilities. The development of the Tu-144 was a highly ambitious project, with the Soviet Union investing significant resources to ensure its success. The aircraft's first fight took place on December 31, 1968, just a few months before the maiden flight of the Concorde, its western counterpart. The Tu-144 had a maximum speed of Mach 2.35, which was slightly faster than the Concorde's maximum speed of Mach 2.04. However, the Tu-144 had a shorter range than the Concorde and was less fuel efficient which limited its commercial viability. The Tu-144 faced a number of technical challenges during its development, including issues with its engines, airframe, and landing gear. These challenges led to a series of accidents and setbacks, which hindered the aircraft's progress and reputation. The most notable accident occurred on June 3, 1973, at the Paris Air Show. During a demonstration flight, the Tu-144 suffered a catastrophic failure and crashed into the ground, killing all six crew members and eight people on the ground. The accident was caused by a combination of design flaws and pilot error and dealt a significant blow to the Tu-144 program. Despite these setbacks, the Tu-144 continued to be developed and improved throughout the 1970s. It was used for a range of commercial and military purposes, including passenger transport, cargo transport, and reconnaissance. During the mid-1970s, the Tu-144 was used for passenger flights between Moscow and Almaty, the largest city in Kazakhstan. These flights began in November 1977, and were operated by Aeroflot, the Soviet Union's national airline. The Moscow-Almaty route was chosen because it was a relatively short and high-demand route, making it a good opportunity for the Tu-144 to prove its commercial viability. The Tu-144 was capable of carrying up to 140 passengers, and its supersonic speed reduced the travel time between Moscow and Almaty to just over three hours. However, the Tu-144 was ultimately unable to compete with the Concorde in terms of commercial viability and reputation. The Soviet Union eventually phased out the Tu-144 in the 1980s, after only a few years of commercial service. Today, the Tu-144 is remembered as a symbol of Soviet technological ambition and the challenges of supersonic transport aircraft design. Although it never achieved the success of its Western counterpart, the Tu-144 played a significant role in the development of supersonic aviation and contributed to the advancement of aviation technology in the Soviet Union.